Hello Libra, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Um, I just want to say thank you uh, that you know you guys have just offered so much love and support on my channel um, and I really just wanted to say thank you. You guys have been such a blessing, okay? Um, now if you uh, like this reading, if it resonates with you, please be sure to hit the like button and to also tap on the subscribe button, which you will find on the bottom left hand corner underneath the video. If this reading does not resonate with you, please be sure to check your uh, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. It is a general reading. It, it, you know, it can't possibly touch everybody, but I do love hearing your comments. Um, just getting to know everyone a little bit better. It is so appreciated, okay? Uh, so let's get started. So this is going to be for Libra. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we do have water here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We do have uh, Earth here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. We do have some fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, Libra, so what we have here for the underlining uh, reading, the underlining message, the underlining energy is going to be the Nine of Wands. So this is uh, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. The Nine of Wands represents um, determination. You're almost there. You have a goal that you're trying to achieve, Libra, and you're almost there. So let's see, you know, where you're headed, where you're going, what's happening this week, because things have been kind of crazy for my Libras. Um, all right, so we have the Nine of Cups here. What a beautiful card. So we have Wish Fulfillment. Wherever you're at this week, Libra, it's definitely where you want to be, okay? Now, this is being clarified by the Five of Cups. So even though you, you're happy, even though you got what you wanted, um, there is some sadness happening here. You are thinking about the past a little bit, okay? So again, this is all water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So you got your wish fulfillment, um, and, and the Five of Cups tells me that, you know, you lost something. There was some loss here. You see they're looking at the three cups of spilled, uh, you know, the, the three spilled cups there. They're not looking at the two cups still standing, okay? So even though you're getting your wish fulfillment, this tells me that you're not really focused on it. You're not focused on the fact that you got everything that you wanted. You're kind of sad about what you lost, okay? But now we have the uh, Knight of Pentacles coming in slowly, okay? Uh, we have a Knight coming in here. Now, Pentacles is um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So we have somebody coming towards you slowly or possibly you going towards somebody slowly. Uh, but this is clarified by the Seven of Swords. So Libra, you feel deceived by this person, okay? Um, there was some truth that came out about this person and you know, even though they're slowly trying to come towards you, you feel hurt by them. You feel hurt by them. And again, this can be vice versa. Okay, Libra. But, um, you know, you feel, you know, whether it's you going towards this person or they're them coming towards you, this is someone who hurts you. Okay. Now, here we have the Nine of Pentacles. Um, so, Pentacles, again, uh, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Swords, I'm sorry, was Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay. So the nine of pentacles is someone who is financially uh, independent, financially stable, in peace and happy, okay? Um, and that's being clarified by the 10 of pentacles again. So this tells me Libra that, I mean, ultimately financially you're doing well, you have a lot of blessings in your life, but this person here that hurts you, this, this dude here on the horse or this girl here on the horse, um, even though you're doing really great in other areas of your life, I mean, things cannot be going better for you in all other areas of your life. But when it comes down to love, um, you're a little sad here, Libra. You're sad. You're, you're a little bit in your head. You're thinking about the past. You're thinking about the good times, um, you know, and when you're emotional and you have this going on in the inside, 
unfortunately, I mean, you've got the, the Nine of Cups here, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, you have a lot of blessings coming your way. See, these two cups, I mean, you've got a lot going for you, but unfortunately, the fact that, um, sorry, let me just clean that off, the fact that you, um, you know, are feeling like this on the inside is kind of killing it for you right now. It's kind of killing it for you, Libra. So here, again, we have another night coming in uh, a little faster now, okay? So somebody's starting to speed up, you know, pace. Um, they're coming in a little bit faster. Someone is coming towards you. But again here, Libra, clarified by the Three of Swords. So here we have Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. We have the Swords here, which is Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. So there's a truth that's going to come out, Libra, um, or it has already come out, and there is someone coming towards you. We have two knights here, okay? Um, we do have someone coming towards you or you going towards somebody. But between this seven of swords and this three of swords, um, it's not pretty. It's not pretty, Libra. Something, Something's going to come to light um, and you're going to feel really deceived. We definitely have third party energy here. Um, you're going to feel very, very deceived. You're going to feel like someone took something from you, whether it's your heart, your peace of mind. And I think ultimately the Seven of Swords here, th this, because everything is going well for you and you have this Five of Cups energy happening, I think, you know, the Seven of Swords can represent that too, that you feel like, you know, this person that's hurting you isn't just hurting you emotionally. They're not, it's, it's so much far beyond that. It's just that things are going so well in your life and you don't need this pain in your life right now. You know, it's just like killing everything. It's like going on this beautiful vacation and it rains all, all the time, you know. It's it's like you have so much going for you and, and this one thing is just killing you. So here we have the Nine of Cups, okay, being clarified by the Lover's Card, Libra, okay? Now, the Lover's Card can mean a couple things here. Number one, it can mean reconciliation. It can definitely mean soulmate energy, love, passion, marriage, deeper commitment. Um, but it can also mean decisions, okay? So you do have a decision to make here, Libra, because obviously something is happening with this person. I believe that they deceived you, something happened, they really hurt you, everything is going well in your life, and this is the only thing that seems to be taking from your energy right now. So you're going to be making a decision as to whether, you know, do I want to get back with this person or not? Do I want to just try to make it work? There's uh, decisions here, um, but I, I do feel like, you know, this is a lover's card, so uh, you guys do love each other uh, yeah i'm looking right here you guys have the four of wands soulmate energy so this is definitely a soulmate connection and this is why you're taking it so hard libra you're taking it so hard you know um now let's keep in mind that you know it doesn't mean because someone's your soulmate that it's going to be like the most perfect relationship ever okay um a person can be your soulmate and drive you absolutely crazy which seems to be the case here so we have the knight of pentacles Again, someone coming towards you, and here we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so again, you know, um, if you're a female, this is, you know, someone coming towards you as a queen. If you're not, it's vice versa, okay? So we do have someone bringing you, you know, some type of prosperity and apology, and you're just sitting here, you know, minding your business, just trying to be a queen. You know, the, the Queen of Wands is an amazing queen, very fiery, very passionate, nurturing, loving person. Um, so we've got fire, uh, fire sign here, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. Again, uh, Earth here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Um, they're going to be coming towards you with an apology, Libra, or you're going to be coming towards them. Now, we do have the Nine of Pentacles here, which was you being independent, in peace, and happy, being clarified by the Four of Wands. So again, here we have soulmate energy, reward after success. So I do see a possible reconciliation here, Libra, okay, because this person is going to start off slow, and then the horse is moving a little bit faster here. Um, they did hurt you. There is pain here. Whatever they did, it was, you know, maybe a third-party energy, a secret that came out, an addiction. Something came out of the woodwork here, and... Uh, it did hurt you, but, you know, it's bogging down your life so much. I think you're reaching a point where you're ready to just be like, okay, listen, let's just put this to the side and start over because I have so much going on that I just can't deal with this drama right now. Now, here we have the Empress card. 
and again we have a knight coming to here we had the knight going towards the queen and now we have the empress which is like the embodiment of all the queens put together okay so this person really holds you in high regard they may have hurt you libra but they hold you in very high regard you know what i'm saying you are you know queen material to them okay um now i do see you know another thing that's a little bit worrisome to me is that we do have a queen of wands here we do have a queen of cha of cups here and we do have um the empress here okay and we have the three of swords so there may have been a little bit of a three party yeah this queen of cups here is clarifying the seven of wands okay we'll get there um so for right now, being that the knight is coming towards the Queen of Wands and the Queen and the Empress, I believe this is how they see you. Fiery, full of energy, just you know, you're their top one, okay, because you're the Empress. You're you're on top for them, okay? Because we have the knight coming towards you up here on both ends. Now, down here though, we have the five of cups being clarified by the hermit so again like i told you libra you have so many blessings in your life right now but you have this five of cups energy here where you're a little bit depressed sad about the past your, your emotions are really down and it's causing you to um retreat a little bit it's causing you to get in your head maybe be a little bit depressed not want to be around people you're analyzing every little thing okay so it is affecting you you're not able to fully fully enjoy the blessings that are coming into your life and again i think this third party energy i think this is her okay so we have the seven of, of swords here which again is um gemini libra aquarius energy being clarified by the queen of cups now the queen of cups is a really nice person intuitive empathetic very emotional person um but you know she's clarifying that seven of swords so i think that this this there was another person involved here libra I think that, you know, there was a, it sh this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, by the way, okay? Um, this is the, per this third person here, this is, yeah, there was, you know, sometimes I say that, you know, a third party isn't always, you know, a person, it could be an addiction, and that's usually when the devil card comes out, but you really have, like, a whole nother person here um, that you, that, that is clarifying the seven of swords which tells me that you feel cheated on because of this person so i really do feel that there was an actual person there um now the set the ten of pentacles which again is a beautiful card uh, money coming in just blessings i mean real blessings here and um this is being clarified by the king of swords okay so this king of swords um you know, maybe you're well off and, and your person is well off also. Um, the King of Swords is somebody who is cutting off their emotion, okay? And, um, you know, they're trying to think strategically. And I think that's where you're at right now, Libra, okay? You've got your mind on your money because you've got the Nine of, of Pentacles here, the Ten of Pentacles here, the Nine of Cups. I mean, I feel like, I know this is a love reading, but I feel like financially and in all other areas of your life, things are going really, really well. And I think that this is the energy that you have right now. You're just trying to really cut off your emotions and think with your mind because you've got serious matters to attend to right now. But it's hard to cut emotions like these off, Libra. It's hard to not go into hermit mode and just get tired. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it, it takes more energy to cut off those type of emotions than it does to just deal with them. So here we have the Three of Swords being clarified by the Strength card, Libra, okay? So what this message is telling me is this lie, this deceit, whatever hurts you, okay, you need to overcome it. Again, overcome. See, this was your your, your card here, your, the, the or underlying energy, overcome. You need to overcome it, and you're going to overcome it gracefully, Libra, okay? The Beauty and the Beast card is, uh, the Beauty and the Beast card, the, the Strength card is, um, I call it the Beauty and the Beast card, because you see here, you've got a woman taming an actual lion, but gracefully and peacefully, and, um, you know, just with love and affection, in control of the situation, but with confidence, okay? So, Libra, I think you're going to start dealing with this situation in less of a volatile manner and you're going to start figuring out listen how are we going to overcome this how are we gonna you know fix this because i just um 
you know, it's gonna make you grow as a person, whatever it is that happened. But one thing I feel like you do know, Libra, is that you, you have to get out of this energy. This Five of Cups, you know, Hermit energy, because you have a lot of beautiful stuff happening in your life right now, and you just don't have time for it. You don't have time for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, clarify a little bit with the Romance Angels. Let's see what we have going on for Libra. June 10th to June 16th. What messages do we have for Libra? June 10th to June 16th. What messages do we have for Libra? It's June 10th to June 16th. June 10th to June 16th. Ooh, okay. Well, four of them came out, so I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Okay, so the underlying card here is honeymoon. So that's reconciliation. That's you and your person going away and trying to heal this, okay? So we're going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, Libra. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, okay? We have getting to know each other again. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Sometimes it takes something really difficult like this to happen for your relationship to get stronger. You have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, okay? And then at the end here, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, all right, Libra? So I feel like there may be, because we have the lover's card here, we have the strength card here, we have the don't give up card here, we've got determination here, and we have soulmate energy here, okay? We also have, you know, wish fulfillment here. You've got the nine of pentacles, you just have like blessings coming out of everywhere. You've got the ten of pentacles, blessings coming out of everywhere, okay? So, you know, you're going to have someone coming towards you, it's going to start off slow, it's going to pick up. Um, you know, there was a lot of lies, there was a lot of deceit, but I feel like, you know, coming into the middle, there's going to be some healing and some peace for you, Libra, okay? I hope you enjoyed your reading. Again, please be sure to hit the like button and the uh, subscribe button on the bottom left-hand side so that this way any future readings that I post um, will come automatically up on your feed. Take care, Libra.